I am Ben with the BTC Sessions. I'm down near Olympic Plaza in Calgary, Canada, and today I'd like to talk to you about a cheap, disposable, and secure uh, Bitcoin storage method called the Open Dime. So this thing is a USB stick that you can store Bitcoin on securely and know that it hasn't been tampered with. You can then spend it essentially like a dollar bill transferring it from person to person and those people can verify the balance. You can also add to the balance and when you want to spend uh, there's a method through which uh, you can spend your bitcoins not just through passing the USB from person to person but say online an actual blockchain transaction and once you do that the open dime signals to anybody else that uses it in the future that it has been spent so uh, it's kind of like a tamper resistant storage method so let's take a look at how it works and where to get one all right everyone so I am here I've got my uh Open dimes here, um, just really simple little uh, USB sticks. Um, on them, there is a little hole right near the top. It might be difficult, it's not gonna focus here. Let me just, so right here, there's a little hole and this is what you're gonna puncture in order to spend. But other than that, it's just a regular USB stick and it goes into your computer. Okay, so I am doing this on the fly. Uh, I'm screen capturing right now. You may hear the sound of my co-star over there. <laughs> Little Aria is joining in today. Um, I am doing this just all on the fly. Uh, I've, I've barely really looked at this, um, but from what I hear, it is super, <laughs> it is super simple. So I'm just gonna go ahead, I'm gonna do this um, having not done it before. And uh, I'm going to straight up capture my experience uh, figuring this out. I, ki I kind of in the back of my head know roughly how it goes. Um, but yeah, let's, let's just see. So I'm plugging this into my USB drive. Um, maybe I'll just get a shot of uh, the actual... So when I plug it in, it lights up. And uh, yeah, so I see a couple different flashing lights here. Now on my screen here the USB pops up on my desktop. Uh, there's a few things here. There's a README, um, lets you know how this thing works. Uh, so basically what happens is um, when you plug in your Open Dime, you need to essentially inform the Open Dime on how to create a private key. And how you do that is you're just gonna pull over a file onto your Open Dime. And as soon as that happens, it using the image that you've, or whatever file you've pulled over, it'll use, I don't know, like 256 kilobytes of that, 256 bytes, whatever it is, kilobytes, um, of that information that you've randomly pulled over uh, to generate your private key. So, the most secure way to do this is a picture that you yourself have taken. Um, for my purposes, I'm just going to be using this meme of Batman slapping Robin telling him to buy the dip. <laughs> uh, so all you're going to do is you're just going to drag whatever file you're dragging over onto the open dime. Uh, now, I think I need some more, some more images here. So perhaps what I'll do is I'll pull some other stuff from from my picture. So let's pull over a picture of BTC Sessions. Okay, so I think that automatically ejected it um, because I had enough information there. And let's open it up again and see what happened. Okay, so if I go, ah, there we go. Yeah, so as soon as it gets enough information, so the first picture wasn't enough information for it to create a private key, I pulled over my PTC, uh, BTC Sessions little cartoon image that I had there, and that was enough. It created the private key immediately upon having enough information and ejected it, and then now it's it seems to be working again. So what I have here is if I go to the index, there we go. So this is my address. Um, I can send Bitcoin to this address. I can check the balance. I can verify it. Um, I can check it on actual uh, blockchain or block explorers. There's a lot of different ones here that I can pick from. Um, 
Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna try sending some Bitcoin uh, from a wallet on my phone to the Open Dime. Okay, so really simply, I'm going to open up my uh, my wallet here of choice, which today happens to be Mycelium. Um, I'm going to scan this QR code. I'm going to send uh, 50 Canadian dollars just as a test. Okay, so I just sent over 50 bucks to the Open Dime. So I should now be able to see the balance on here. So if I go check balance, Yeah, there we go. So I can see that it's unconfirmed, but there's funds going into this wallet, all right? Now, the idea behind these things is, is you should be able to continuously upload, or <laughs> continuously send however much money you want to this thing, and then you should be able to exchange it person to person, and they can independently verify how much is on this. Um, so, you know, you could, you could feasibly say, oh, I owe somebody a thousand bucks, Put a thousand bucks on this thing and just say, here you go, um, instead of having to send directly to their wallet. Um, this is also handy, let's say you do not have um, connection, like you don't have an easy internet connection. Um, somebody can just verify this on, uh, on their computer without having to be connected, which is kind of nice. Um, so what I'm going to do now is, let's see, is it... Oh, yeah, okay, so I've got a confirmation on my screen now, okay? So let's see how I would go ahead and spend this. So once I do this, then it's advisable not to ever send funds to this again um, because it has been compromised and the, uh, the private keys are now available. <laughs> okay, so let's do this. Uh, first, I'm going to close out of this. I'm going to eject my open dime from my desktop. And once that's ejected, okay, so I've got the device here. So what I'm going to do, so I'm going to take this tack and I'm going to put it through that little, it's little circle right on the front there, okay? So I'm going to push that through. Oh, there we go. Okay, now I don't know if you can see it. So it went through and there's a little chip that gets disconnected there. It's barely visible, but it breaks a connection, breaks a circuit. Okay, so with my phone, I'm just gonna get on, on film here what it looks like when I go and plug this in. It should flash differently now. Ah, so it goes really quick back and forth. Da, 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 back and forth like that. That means it has been compromised or that the public key is now, or sorry, private key is now visible. Okay, so that's what it's gonna look like once this has been, and you can see the red there too. Uh, so I open it up now, and when I go to index, instead, it even gives me the warning, unsealed, do not send more funds to this address or accept this hardware as payment, okay? So now I can see a private key. Now I'm not worried about showing this on screen because by the time I upload this video, I will have sent these funds elsewhere. Um, so yeah, there we go. So to send to an address, um, a few moments later, Okay, so I had to do a little bit more research because it wasn't as immediate and, and uh, to the point as I thought. Um, when I go to send to any address, um, it gives me a list of, of, ad, or of wallets that currently support uh, the specific type of private key that is generated through this device. I think what I'm gonna have to do is um, I'm gonna use my, my Copay wallet here um, and I'm, then I'm going to have to scan the private key that is on the screen, okay? So I'm going to hit scan so that I have my, my camera open. I'm going to scan this private key on the screen. Uh, it's going to ask me if I'd like to sweep my paper wallet, uh, which I'm going to do. I'm going to hit sweep paper wallet. Uh, it says the funds that are found. I know you can't see this on the screen, but it says 0 0.008655 Bitcoin. Uh, will be transferred to and then I pick which wallet I want it to go to 
and I hit the sweep button in the top right corner of my screen and I get the green screen telling me that my funds have been transferred. Uh, so effectively, I have now cleared off this open dime. Uh, it is now empty. Now eventually, um, they do have here that you will be able to send to any address, but currently you have to import the private key to uh, a wallet software that supports it. So that's why they have, when you hit send to any address, they have these current wallets listed, Copay, Electrum, Bitcoin Core, and Bread wallet. Those are all wallets that will allow you to import or to rather uh, scan that private key and sweep it. Um, I do look forward to when you can just send it to any address because then it'll be super convenient. It'll just be a matter of copying and pasting an address and sending it there. Um, but I mean, it works. Uh, so I mean, it is an easy way. And actually, let's just do this. I'm going to close out. I'm going to close out. I had Copay open anyways. Um, if I open index now, it still warns me it's unsealed. Uh, if I want to check the balance, I can see here that there is nothing in this open dime. Okay, so I've sent it all out and everything is gone. Okay, so there's no funds sitting on this open dime. Um, I'm going to eject it now. Okay. And this now goes in the trash, okay? These are meant to be disposable like this. That's why they're they're cheap. Um, you want to be able to use this and the moment that you actually spend the funds rather than just passing them person to person, um, the moment you actually punch out that tab there, this becomes a, a wallet to be immediately swept and then, uh, and then discarded. The idea here is easily disposable storage wallets uh, that can just be passed person to person. So this goes in my trash. All right, um, now I do have a couple more of these. Uh, I do kind of like the idea of this. Um, just having a simple verifiable stick where you can have whatever amount of funds that you want and you can just pass it person to person and they can immediately verify what's on there. Um, I think that's a great idea. Now, would I put, you know, $10,000 on this? Probably not, but if you had a certain amount of money that you felt comfortable with having on a device, then, then sure, why not? The one thing that you have to be careful about is if this device is destroyed, then there's no more private key to to pull off this thing, which means your funds are essentially gone. Not only inaccessible to you yourself, but inaccessible to anyone ever. Okay, um, that private key that I pulled up here when I did the when I did punch the hole. Um, that can be created another way if you were to destroy this device. You know, you're one step away from losing all your money if you if you were to destroy it or damage it in any way. Okay, so be careful, um, but it is something fun to play around with. And uh, yeah, I highly recommend checking, checking these guys out. Uh, OpenDime.com. Yeah, I think it's awesome. So, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to hit like and subscribe, drop a tip if you're able to, and share this video. Also, if you'd like to support the show in another way, please check out my affiliate links down below for the Ledger Nano S, the Ledger Blue, and the Trezor. They're all pretty awesome hardware wallets that I highly recommend. I will see you guys next time on the BTC Sessions.